My name is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and like your representative Nancy Pelosi, I represent my great state of New York in our nation's capital. I'm popping in to remind you that your vote does count. So let me tell you a little story. My dad took me on a road trip to Washington DC when I was a little girl. And he pointed at the Washington Monument and he pointed at the White House and he pointed at all of it. And he said, someday a man with a bad spray tan is going to tell you to go back to your own country. When I turned 13, my mother didn't make me a cake. Instead, she went into my room and she took a shit on the floor. I walked into my room to find this surprise and she turned to me and said, Alexandria, when you become a woman, men are going to take turns shitting on you. I want you to expect this. My dad was a fortune teller, it turns out. My mom was, well, we're still debating what she is. Years later, when I was a bartender, I was dealing with drunk shit from inappropriate men in the Bronx on a nightly basis. And I thought to myself, you know what? This shit is getting stale. I want to know what white shit smells like. And by the power of my community and my constituents, I made it to DC. And last week, I got to smell it for the very first time. It was also stale, but the smell lingered even in the outdoor air. I ran into two of my fellow representatives, Representative Ted Yoho and Roger Williams, both white males for the record, and they mispronounced my name. No surprise there. Congressman Yoho called me, and I quote, a fucking bitch, which is inaccurate because anyone who pays attention knows that I'm a badass bitch. Now, on the very steps of our nation's capital, they degraded my intelligence and they tried to belittle me on camera. When my mother watched it, she called me immediately and suggested I ding dong ditch him, which I ignored. But when prompted for an apology, the representative used the females in his family to excuse his sorry behavior. Now, if that representative, if Representative Yoho had been a female, she would not have disrespected me on camera, maybe off camera. But every woman knows that when the cameras are on, it is our time to shine. And by no means are we going to ruin that for another female because, catty or not, we women share the curse of a monthly torturous pain. And that bond runs blood deep. So why am I telling you all this? My fellow citizens, this government is ours. It belongs to us, even when everything coming down from the top feels like the opposite. I am only 30 years old. Some of you are even older than me. Some of you are even older than that. If I can get elected and change the course of history, you can use your power and right to vote to change it too. And regardless of your political leanings, at the end of the day, you all want the same thing. And that same thing seems to be for me to be shit on. And that's fine. Look, whoever you choose to represent you this election season in Congress or on TV or even on Twitter, I simply ask that you make it worth a shit. Make it worth a shit. I'm fighting so hard for our future, and sometimes I want to stay home and eat ice cream like you, but I cannot, with good conscience, stay home on election day. Remember that you can elect someone new to shit all over me. I plead you not to write in a candidate that you made up in your head this time. I invite you to make the only choice you know will get the man with the bad spray tan out of the Oval Office. And in the spirit of the dark shadow that follows the Black Lives Matter movement, I say to you, all votes matter. So make yours count. This November, give not one or two or a few even. Give all the shits. Thank you.